The first things that come to mind when you think of Roger Federer are class, elegance, and old-school grandeur. This is due to both his on-court performance as well as his unwavering dedication and will to succeed. While it is safe to assume that this six-foot, one-inch genius has the finest statistics one will ever discover in tennis history, it is also true that his game has never been better. Roger Federer is certainly a Swiss superman when it comes to tennis, but there are some interesting facts about Roger Federer that largely remained unspoken of, as the world witnessed him rising to glory and worshipping him for what he is today. So in this video, we are going to look at the 10 interesting outstanding facts about Roger Federer. Before starting, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more future updates. Number 10. Federer has huge popularity in the world of sport. Federer is incredibly well-liked in the sporting community and is regarded as one of the greatest tennis players of all time. Between 2009 and 2018, he received a lot of votes from tennis players and sports writers for being the best player ever. Federer was named the greatest male tennis player of all time by the Tennis Channel in May 2020. Serena Williams called Federer the greatest and a genius. Number 9. He married a former tennis player. Federer married Miroslava Federer, a former WTA player, whom he met while representing Switzerland at the 2000 Sydney Olympics. In 2002, she stopped playing competitive tennis due to a foot ailment. On April 11, 2009, the pair got married in a private ceremony at the Wankenhof Villa in Rehin, close to Basel. She gave birth to a set of identical twin girls in 2009 and a second set of fraternal twins in 2014. Number 8. He is featured on Postal Stamp and Swiss Coin. The Swiss Post in Basel, Switzerland, issued a limited edition Federer stamp in 2007. He was the first Swiss citizen still alive to appear on a Swiss stamp. He was pictured with the original Wimbledon trophy on the stamp. Later, in 2010, the Austrian Postal Service presented Roger Federer with a limited edition stamp. Federer became the first living person to appear on Swiss coins in December 2019. Number 7. Federer Supports Charity Organizations Roger Federer founded a foundation in 2003 to support underprivileged kids and increase their access to sports and education. The charity has assisted South African kids in developing their social and physical awareness. He organized an exhibition at the 2005 Pacific Life Open in Indian Wells with a number of top players from the ATP and WTA tours called Rally for Relief, the revenues of which went to those affected by the tsunami brought on by the Indian Ocean earthquake in 2004. Number 6. He has won the ATP Player of the Year five times. In 2009, Federer won five ATP Player of the Year awards and five ITF World Championship titles. In 2003, he won the ATP Fans Favorite Award a record 18 times in a row. In 2004 and 2011, he earned the Stefan Edberg Sportsmanship Award a record 13 times. In addition, he received five Laureus World Sportsman of the Year awards in 2018, two Arthur Ashe Humanitarian of the Year awards in 2006 and 2013, and one Laureus World Return of the Year award following his comeback season in 2017. Number 5. Rafael Nadal has been his biggest rival. Federer has trailed Rafael Nadal 16, 24 times in their 40 games together. On grass, Federer is 3-1 and on hard courts, he's 11-9, while Nadal is 14-2 on clay. A record nine Grand Slam finals, including most of their matches, have occurred in tournament finals. Since they started competing against one another in 2004, their rivalry has played a big role in both men's careers. At the 2019 Wimbledon Championships, Federer prevailed in the most recent meeting to advance to the championship match. Number four, he has won Olympic medals. In Sydney in 2000, Federer competed in the singles event to make his Olympic debut. He advanced to the semifinal round but lost to Tommy Haas and then in the bronze medal match to Arnaud Di Pasquale. Federer and Stan Wawrinka defeated Simon Aspelin and Thomas Johansson of Sweden to win the doubles gold medal at the 2012 Olympic Games. He fell to James Blake, who was rated no. 8 on the ATP at the time, in the singles quarterfinals. Federer earned a silver medal at the 2012 Summer Olympics after defeating Del Porto in a semifinal match that lasted 4 hours, 26 minutes. Federer then fell to Andy Murray in the championship match in straight sets. Number 3. Roger Federer won his first Grand Slam in 2003. In 2003, 
Federer defeated Mark Filipowskis in the Wimbledon final to win his maiden Grand Slam singles championship. If he advanced to the Montreal final, he would have had the opportunity to overtake the no one spot in the world. In Miami, Federer and Max Murny won his first and only doubles Masters event. Additionally, he competed in a singles Masters event on clay in Rome, where he lost. However, he reached nine ATP Tour finals and prevailed in seven of them, including the 500 Series competitions in Vienna and Dubai. Number 2. He won his first title at the age of 17 years. In 1998, Roger Federer made his Wimbledon debut by defeating Arakli Labads in the boys' singles final. Additionally, he and Olivier Roches defeated Andy Ram and Mikkel Lauder in the junior boys' finals. In his professional career, Federer won four ITF junior singles events, including the renowned Orange Bowl, where he defeated Guillermo Coria in the championship match. He received the ITF Junior World Champion title and had the top junior world ranking at the end of 1998. At the conclusion of his junior career in 1998, he held the no. One singles and no. Seven doubles rankings. Number one, he titles won 103 ATP single titles. Federer played in a time when he, Rafael Nadal, and Novak Djokovic dominated men's tennis despite having won 103 ATP singles titles in his career. For almost 20 years, the trio has dominated men's tennis. They have combined to win 283 ATP singles titles, with Federer coming in second place all-time after Jimmy Connors. For the majority of the early 2010s, Federer remained in the top three, but his hegemony on both grass and hard courts was interrupted by Djokovic and Nadal's success. He only won one major championship from the middle of 2010 till the end of 2016. That's it for today's video. What do you think of our video? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more future updates. Thanks for watching.